Hello, my name is Jonathan Bisnett, and this is the second video in my series on MOSFET uh, transistor logic gates. And in this particular circuit, I'm looking at a NOR gate. Uh, based on the configuration and the use of complementary MOSFETs, uh, a NOR gate is actually uh, a little bit smaller than an actual OR. The OR has additional uh, gates on it. Uh, a NOR gate requires four MOSFET transistors. So you're looking here at the uh, at this gate. Right now you'll see that uh, the green LED is on. Uh, basically uh, the two buttons represent my two inputs and at this point they would both be a zeros. Uh, a zero zero in a NOR gate is going to give you a one output. Uh, every other value, uh, 0, 1, 1, 0, or 1, 1, will give you a 0 output, which would be the red LED. So what you'll see here is when I press the uh, this one here, you'll see I get the red LED. The green one goes off. There's my, uh, my uh, 0 output. Uh, same thing here. If I press this one, it goes off. Uh, if I press them both and then let go of one, you'll see it's still... It's only if they're both up that I get... It's only if they're both up that I get the uh, one output. So you're looking at zero, zero, giving you one every other combination, giving you a zero. Uh, what you'll see in here are basically uh, four MOSFETs. Uh, the two here on the left-hand side, or well, in the back, I guess, from this angle, are TP0610L and the two in the front here are uh, 2N7000s. Uh, these two are P-channel, these two are N-channel. And what you'll see is in this particular arrangement uh, the two P-channel uh, transistors are actually in a series configuration and the two N-channels are in a parallel configuration. So let's take a look at the, uh, the schematic. And what you'll see on the schematic is you'll see my two switches, which are my two inputs. Uh, you'll also see the two 15k ohm resistors, uh, which basically uh, are my pull-down and uh, basically put a ground or a zero potential on the gates of the transistors until such time as the switch is closed. So in this particular case, with both switches open, what you'll see is a zero potential on both of the uh, P-channel transistors, the TP0610Ls, which basically means they're both conducting. So they're providing a five volt potential, which is crossing the green LED uh, and going through the 220 ohm resistor to ground. When either of the, the switches is closed, what ends up happening is a positive potential, in this case 5 volts, is put to the gate of, of one of those P-channel transistors, which effectively turns it off. It's no longer conducting. When that occurs, then that circuit, that portion of the circuit is opened, and one of the one or more of the N channels, the 2N7000 transistors, will be getting that uh, positive potential on their gates, which will cause them to conduct, in which case you will see a zero potential uh, made available to the LEDs, which will cause the red LED to light and the green LED will go out. Uh, so in this particular case, you're looking at a series configuration and a parallel configuration to accomplish a NOR circuit. Uh, I should note, I think I put it in the text on a previous video, but I should note in this one you do not have to use these specific MOSFETs to make this work. Most MOSFETs would work. Uh, we're not really going for uh, a specific um, uh, current or anything like that here. We're more or less operating these in pretty much a saturated mode, so they're either on or they're off. 
uh, which accomplishes what we need to do in a logic circuit. So if you have other MOSFETs around, you can use them. Of course, they do have to be P-channel or uh, N-channel. And in this case, these are all enhancement mode MOSFETs. They're not JFETs. They're actually MOSFETs enhancement mode, not depletion mode. Uh, so they are looking for positive or zero voltage on the gates. Uh, anyway, that's, uh, that's a NOR gate for you. I hope you found this interesting. And... Uh, Come back and look for the other videos on the rest of the series showing the other logic gates. Thank you.